today I will be showcasing the strategy Tech Ice Village with Gwendolyn. Uh, now as you can see I uh, actually pre-recorded this video before I made the top 3 best beginner strategies. Uh, that's why I'm in a lower arena than that video. That's probably out already right now, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and yeah, let's go. I'm just going to show you guys how to use this strategy, uh, when to do what, what rounds you need to watch out for, how to start, if you can go late game with the strategy and when you should go late game, when you should rush, uh, just everything really, everything to know about the strategy I will show you. So let's go into the first match. Okay, so we're in the first match on the map Cobra Command. Now I will admit this is definitely a hard map it's not easy and i think i'm actually going to start with gwendolyn here usually i will start with attack shooter but on this map i think it's going to be better if i start with gwendolyn uh as you can see i'm also equaling with blue oh yeah this is hmm, you gonna have to do this uh, i'm equaling with blues um because this is a beginner strategy i'm gonna guess that some of you might not really know how equing works if you want to see that um i currently do not have a video on it on how to explain it so oh no i don't want to leak down here there we go just saw that one okay uh i currently don't have a video on it if you want to see that there are many videos out there okay this is i really don't want to leak here it doesn't even matter but i just don't want to uh if you want to see a video oh. Dude, I need this blade shooter here. Oh no, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you want to go for that blade shooter early on. Blade shooter is really good at the start, as you can see here. It's doing a lot. Ah, oh, please don't tell me that's gonna... Okay, we have this one in the back. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, yeah, if you want that, uh, go look on YouTube. There's many great YouTubers out there that will have a video on it, on how to eco, how it works. Um, you can also just copy me if you want to. Uh, the way I'm equaling right now won't work every single game, but for most games, this will be fine. Uh, now, as you can see here, I went for Gwendolyn and a Blade Shooter with the top path. Now, why should you do this? First of all, this Tech Shooter, Blade Shooter, is incredibly good early game. It basically defends everything, especially together with Gwendolyn. Uh, also, what I would recommend doing is putting Gwendolyn on strong. This is just to make sure that when LEDs appear, um, they will not sneak through. Because sometimes they can. But if you put Gwendolyn on first, or strong, I mean, uh, usually they won't. Now, Gwendolyn has an ability, a cocktail, which you can place down by clicking on this. And then you can place it wherever you want. I usually try to place it uh, somewhere further in the back just because it's a bit easier to uh, react to rushes now what are rounds you need to watch out for in general on most maps if you have this stack shooter the blade shooter together with Gwendolyn you will be fine up, up until round 11 but round 11 gets really scary and you really need to watch out for it so what are we gonna do for round 11? First of all, why? Why is it scary? It's because uh, these blooms right here, one I'm s the one that I'm sending right now, that purple one, um, at round 11, they get incredibly scary. You can send them... Uh, this is also getting a little scary. Oh, it doesn't matter if I leak that. We'll just uh, let that go. But yeah, we're gonna have to prepare for that already. Actually, that wasn't really needed. I don't know why I went for attack sprayer. But okay, uh, they are incredibly scary, they are incredibly fast, and they will overwhelm you if you don't do anything. So how will we defend against this? Well, there's a couple of ways. Uh, one way is quite hard if you don't know this game very well yet. But it's this upgrade right here, the Blade Maelstrom. What this does is if you buy it, you get an ability, and it will just cover the map with blades when you use it. The only downside to this is... Uh, oh, yep. See? He's already doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna use it here. It just destroys everything. The only downside is... If he rushes you again... You're gonna die. So, yeah. Now, round 12. You really need to watch out for that as well. You need a radar scanner on round 12. 
Because Stack Shooter and Gwendolyn cannot hit uh, Camo. So you're gonna need a radar scanner. Just so they can hit Camo. And now we should be fine. So as you saw there, the Blade Maelstrom, really good to defend rushes. But the downside is that you don't always have to sell it. But if he really rushes you, uh, it's gonna be quite scary with the cooldown. So yeah, sometimes you have to sell it and then place it back down if he tries to rush you again. <laughs> After that, as long as you can defend that, there's gonna be one more scary thing, which is always oh, gonna go for a rush. Just kidding, that is nothing. <laughs> We're fine. Um, so something you need to watch out for is also regen rainbows, which are these balloons at the bottom here. And then if you press the regen button, those can be incredibly scary as well. I think the best way to defend that is also going to be the blade maelstrom. Otherwise you could go for an overdrive, maybe two overdrives. Yeah, I think you're going to need at least two overdrives to defend that to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's what you can go for. But on a map like this, I'll be honest, I'm scared. I really want to rush him. So I think that's what we're going to have to do very soon. Our eco is not looking good either. So I think what I'll do is as soon as we get to round 18, we're going to send him a reinforced Moab. Which is uh, in round 18, you unlock the reinforced option. Which basically just makes the balloon stronger. Now I do have to watch out here. Ooh. Well if he rushes me as well. Then we're going to have a problem. But we'll see what happens here. We're just going to try. Uh, in general with the strategy. You can defend quite well against Moabs. Uh, let me just do that. There we go. You can just get an overdrive. And that's going to be really good against it. Anyways. Uh, it seems like we won with that. Yep. <laughs> There we go. We seems like we won with that rush. But yeah, in general, against Moabs, uh, you can just get an overdrive. And usually it will defend it. Now let's go to the next round. Alright, so we're in the next match. This time we're on a map that is a bit easier for this strategy. Uh, it's called Sands of Time, I'm pretty sure, this map. Uh, and what you want to do here is... I usually just go for attack shooter first. And then I immediately go for Gwendolyn as well. On this map I would say... Go for this spot on Gwendolyn. Because I just think it's good. And... Yeah. Gwendolyn's placement is actually quite important, by the way. Uh, because he has a buff. At round 4 I think he gets that. And then everything around it, sometimes he can buff... So that's really nice and he also shoots in a straight line so it's nice if he can hit multiple things. Uh, now I want to go for a blade shooter here again because well, just like I said last round it's incredibly good. And I think for this match I'm gonna try to go late game just to showcase what the strategy can do late game. Uh, also the ice monkey. I usually only use the ice monkey in this strategy later on uh you're really gonna need it around 26 when ddts can be sent uh then he becomes incredibly important but before that i usually don't use the ice monkey at all in the strategy now he's actually going for banana farm now i'm just gonna see if i can punish him for going for a banana farm this early by sending some balloons like this because he only has the ninja and yeah, as you can see here, he cannot fully defend against that. So I'm just going to send a couple of those just so he has to spend money on his defenses instead of his banana farm. Basically just to pressure him. In fact, he even, he even had the tower boost. So that's great that he wasted the tower boost there. So I'm going to go back to normal eco and I'll see you guys in a bit when something happens. Now, another thing I'm seeing here is that he currently does not have any lead popping power. Meaning that as soon as we can send leads... Uh, we would win if he doesn't go for anything that can hit leads. I'm not going to do that though because as I said, um, we want to take this game late. Okay, just kidding, you went Alchemist. That's a really good strategy too, by the way. Ninja Alchemist, very strong. I'm probably going to make a showcase on that as well. Okay, so we're getting close to round 11 again. So I'm going to slow down on the eco. I'm going to eco with some blues again. And... Yeah, let's just wait and see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm just already going to go for a village real quick. 
just to get that down. Now he can already send a rainbow. Rainbow. Sorry, purple rush if he wanted to. He's not doing that though, so that's good. We don't have to go for the blade maelstrom so far. Oh, just kidding. He is going to do that. Ooh, wait, that's smart. Okay. That is smart. I need a radar scanner right now. Please, please, please. We lost. I was too late with the radar scanner. Fair enough. Well played by him, so yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm one with the sea. Need to watch out for that. Free camos. Now let's go to the next match to actually show late game. Okay, we're on the map Oasis. And this is a little bit of an awkward map for this strategy. It's not bad. It's definitely better than Cobra Command. But it's just a little awkward. Again, it's not bad though. It seems like our opponent is not equaling, which is going to make this a lot easier for us. And I do want to go for Gwendolyn again as soon as possible here. I think I'll go for her over here. Although, I don't know if that's the best spot, I'll be honest. And again, don't forget to set Gwendolyn on strong as soon as you have your uh, blade sugar down. Now, in general as well, what I should mention is this is a pure eco strategy. Um, which again, as I said at the start of the video, if you want to know how eco wing works, um, there's some great videos out there. Just go search it up on YouTube and you'll find some great videos. That will explain it for you. I don't have a video on it myself, unfortunately, at the moment. So, yeah. Um, but what this means is that the only way you can earn money is by... Uh, in the middle here, at the top, this green number, which is almost a 500 right now for me. Uh, once that coin thingy here at the top is full, you get that amount of money. And this goes up when you send balloons. And again, I'm not going to fully explain it, but uh, with a full eco strategy, it is the best if you uh, don't pop the AI balloons as soon as they come out of the map. So if you can pop them as late as possible, that's going to be better for an eco strategy. I'm not going to fully explain why, but that's just something to keep in mind. On this map, that's really hard to do because... Well, you just need defenses over here, which is at the start of the map. But on some maps, um, it's totally fine if you just put your towers a bit further back in the map. And that's going to be really good with the strategy. Okay, so another thing that's really good with the village is that... And why it synergizes so well with the strategy. Because in the top map, first of all you get jungle drums. Which, as you can read here, increases the attack speed of all monks in the radius. That's already really good, right? So you can go for that. And now we get primary training. All primary monkeys and radius get more range, pierce, and projectile speed. Now, both the tech shooter and the ice monkey are primary towers. So this is really good to get it. Now, as I've said, um, at this round he can send a reinforced Moab. A pre he could previous round as well. If he does that, I would say just go for a second overdrive and it would perfectly fine here. This is a normal Moab. Yeah, we defend that without a uh, second uh, overdrive, but if he if it's a reinforced Moab, I would say go for a second overdrive. Now, if he sends a BFB, just spam more overdrives. <laughs> That's really what we can do. Spam more overdrives, and in case you think, oh, maybe the insides are gonna get through, uh, what you can do is um, just get a Blade Maelstrom again, and just use that as soon as you think they're gonna pop. And that's how you defend against that. Uh, same with COMG, it's just spam the overdrives. Try to get them around Gwendolyn at good spots, around the village. Something like that. And now another really good thing with the village is... I'm just going to put it all the way in the back here. The bottom path. As you can see here, Monkey Town. All Bloom Sands give 10% more eco. More income. So, more eco. 10% more eco, pretty much. Now, this is a little scary to go for and a little risky. But uh, remember that if he sends a rush and you don't have enough money for something, you can very quickly just sell this. If you click on this, then press backspace or just press sell here and it will sell. And then you will have a little bit more money to do that. But this is really good because it's a pure eco strategy. So getting a bit more eco from your balloon scent is going to be very nice. But now we have to save up. Um, and I'm not sure if I can keep sending things here. 
on round 26, as I've said in the previous game. We are gonna need this Ice Monkey for DDTs. DDTs are incredibly scary, but uh, again, we have Ice, and there is a certain upgrade that we were gonna need on the Ice Monkey. Now, I will say, actually, before this, if you do not have the fifth tier on the Ice Monkey, there is a different way to go about this as well. Uh, which I will also tell you in a second. But first, I'm going to show you, if you do have the fifth tier Ice, how I would defend this. So you're going to want to go bottom path. And then mix it. I personally mix it with the middle path, just because you already get the camo detection. Now here, as you can see, we can send... Uh, DDTs, which I'll be honest, um, I don't really have enough money right now. So if you were to send one, I probably die. So I didn't didn't play this game very well, but that's all right. It's about the idea, you know. I'm still gonna show you how to defend. If he would have sent one, you're just gonna have to play this a bit better than how I did and save up a bit more uh, instead of just full equine. So you go for the bottom path here and then you want Icicle Impale. Now this upgrade is a little expensive to get around these rounds. But you are going to need it if you want to defend DDTs. Now as you can see here it slows down the Moab and they can do the same thing to DDTs. And that's just really good. Now uh, the second way if you don't have 5th tier on your Ice Monkey. The second way to defend it is going to be getting a village. Um, let's just place it down here to show you. Uh, I was going to get a bigger radius on that. Can it reach them? I don't know. I can't tell. Now what you want to do is get a monkey intelligence bureau. So as you can see, as you can read here, bureau grants special bloom popping knowledge, allowing nearby monkeys to pop all bloom types. And DDT is considered a lead bloom. Meaning... These tech shooters deal barely any damage to it. But when you get MIB, they will start dealing good damage to them because they can pop them. Uh, okay, only this one has it right now, not this one. It doesn't have enough range, but that's fine. It's about the idea. So if you want to defend that way, then you just get an MIB. Uh, you just get a couple of overdrives around it, and that should be enough to defend as well. And then again, you just get to spam overdrives. That's really all you gotta do then. In case you don't have the 5th tier on Tech Shooter, no worries. Just Overdrive Spam is already really good. If you do have the 5th tier, then somewhere if you have enough money, you can go for the Tech Zone. Also, I completely forgot, but if you want to, you can also go for the Monkey City, which gives another 10% uh, extra Eco. Uh, which I'm not gonna do anymore now, because we're already so far in the game that it's not really needed anymore. Also, what I completely forgot as well is the... Round 10, or the level 10 Gwendolyn ability. If you use this, uh, all towers will get the heated up buff. And every single bloom gets set on fire as well on the screen, I think. So it's just a really good um, ability overall if you get overwhelmed or whatever the case may be. Just, it's going to be really good. So let's go for a couple more overdrives. Let's see, can I get one more in the range? Okay, I can get one over here. And another thing, primary expertise. Primary expertise is really good. As you can see here, uh, all primary monkeys in radius get more popping power. Get one or two upgrades for free. Adds a mega ball ballista attack. If you have enough money, go for that. It's great. Also, I just realized it gets more range. I mean, you can also place another one over here. Forgot about this as well. Another thing you can do with this strategy is place this down here. And then if you go middle path, uh, to get it with bottom path, more range. Then all the way in this area, you can place things on the water. Which is just really good, obviously. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can also expand this. Uh, you can place another one on the water like that and then just go for it again. Now <laughs> we can just place them everywhere. Um, yeah, another good upgrade. Eventually, if you get this far into the game, would be the top path, the Inferno Ring. So let's go for that right now. And this is, from time to time, just going to send, like, fireballs across the map. And it's really good against, like, lads and things. I it probably just good damage to DDT as well. Although I'm not sure. Um, and in general, 
late game you're not really going to use the middle path but sometimes if you have like a big rush and you want to get the insights get rid of the insights uh the fifth tier middle path here is going to be good as well now this middle path is also really good snowstorm and then the last one as well I'll just show you here i'm not going to go for it you can read it a freeze all blooms on screen brief the freezes blah 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 camo and moabs really good as well if you get rushed go for that it does not slow uh m a b a d sorry b a d's it does not slow b a d's i know that but still really good as well to get oh completely forgot about this as well the top path ice monkey is incredibly good as well i forgot to read it for you but um i'll just just uh, placing a couple of these around the maps can be really good so, I'll read it for you here. The text camera blooms and all blooms, including Moab's hit, become brittle, taking extra damage for a short time. Now, this is really, really good. This basically means that when they hit um, a Moab, that Moab will then take more damage. Which is just, it's incredibly good. Synergizes really well with the strategy. And, yeah. That's it. And the super brittle is obviously just a better version of that. Uh, and then last thing he's gonna send me a BAD but well, I'll just show you right now this is easy to defend I'm not even gonna have to do anything for this if it was fortified it might have been a little harder but as you can see here absolutely no problem in fact I'll just showcase the snowstorm right here there we go snowstorm let's go for that ability as well get everything fired up another thing that you can do with the village it's incredibly good um, middle path here homeland defense it's an ability and everything will attack 50% faster for the duration now if the duration runs out what you can do is sell this place it back down and you will have the buff again that's really it I mean I think it's time to rush this guy because if your opponent has the life advantage you will lose if it gets around 40 so we kind of have to rush him so let's just go for two of these He's never defending this, I can just tell. So I'm just gonna send those, and yeah. I hope this uh, this guide was helpful. I hope you learned something from it. If you still have questions about this strategy, or anything else, or wanna see a different strategy showcased, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, let's just see how far you can get in this defense. Not far. He is, <laughs> he's not defending that. As you can see here, DDTs. I... I couldn't find my mouse. I... Where... I... Okay. Let's not talk about that one. That was an easy defense. If I could find my mouse, I could click on my abilities. Uh, by the way, you can also just macro your abilities with 1, 2, 3, 4... And blah 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 I don't know why I didn't I'm just saying if I did do that that would have been an easy defense that was just a pure skill issue on my part anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time